Um, today we're going to unbox a, uh, another jet airplane. I've been kind of getting the fighter jet series, I guess. So um, this is the uh, Flybear FX820. And uh, basically I ordered this one first. And then I ordered the uh, Thunderbirds, the uh, F-16. And then I ordered... Um, this uh, basically XK, um, J11, and A100, and this one's three channel. I ordered it last because um, I saw on YouTube how much fun the guys were having with the uh, elevator, how you can do the Cobra maneuvers and everything. So I'm like, oh, I got to have that one too. Otherwise, I was just going to have a couple of the uh, Fly Bear ones. Well, one thing I learned is um, that this color, the gray, is super hard to see uh, morning and evening when there's not so much wind as where I fly, when I fly, and when it's up against the clouds and stuff, uh, it's hard to see what way it's going, but my other planes I happen to have bright white and I happen to have the uh, bright yellow, so I ordered the gray on that, but I don't think I'll do that again, because, uh, man, that's hard to see. So basically, this is what we got. Owner's manual, it's good with part numbers, and we have a bright yellow plane, because uh, this is actually a really good color to have. You can uh, see it against the sky. And then now uh, i got to put on the vertical, Stabilizers, no big deal. Comes with the uh, landing gear. I always put the landing gear in and then I put a little hot glue on it so it doesn't come out. Um, you know, some guys like to fly it without the landing gear. It looks like a, more like a jet flying through the air and then they just belly land it. But I like the landing gear. I think it saves the propellers a little bit when it comes on in. So then we'll see what we got. Hopefully there's a battery in here somewhere. Feels kind of light, but oh yeah, good. <laughs> we have a battery. I saw on, on YouTube one person opening their uh, jet plane and there was no battery. Well, that would not be any good. Okay, we have a pretty big transmitter. The boys always say these are the uh, PlayStation transmitters, so it's okay. And this one takes uh, three double A's. That's the only thing that you have to by yourself, everything else is included. So uh, what we're gonna do, I'll uh, glue these on. I use my hot glue gun. It won't destroy the uh, EPP foam. You know, if you use something, maybe epoxy might melt the foam, I'm not sure. Uh, so you gotta have something that won't do that, but I've had no problem with the hot glue gun, doesn't melt anything. And then I'll charge the battery and I'll install the landing gear and then we'll I'll get some batteries in the remote and we'll see what it does and then after that I'll do a, a little flight and uh, you guys can see what it's like thank you guys we've got the landing gear in a little bit of hot glue to hold it stabilizers a little bit of hot glue the good thing about that takes what 20 seconds for the hot glue to cool and then it's done you don't have to sit there with masking tape and waiting you know whatever many minutes for the glue to dry the hot glue is quick so um the transmitter there's no high rate or low rate it's whatever always in the normal high rate i guess there's no trim it has a fake trim uh button so basically the manual says you know if it's uh turning to the right all the time you just have to adjust these uh, vertical stabilizer bend them a little bit to get it to go straight and then uh, just for comparison this one's you know not fly bear it's the z50 a little kind of a unknown brand I guess I don't know too much about it but this thing is the cheapest one under $20 its remote is smaller but it has the high and the low rate low rate for beginners, high for, uh, you know, faster turning. This one has two little buttons in the middle to trim the motors. If one motor is spinning faster than the other and it's turning one way, you can just bump the button and bring it back straight. So the cheaper one actually has a little more features on the remote. 
And the other thing, this one, I can do acrobatics a little bit with it. In the high rate, um, when you get some altitude, I have it wide open on the throttle, and then I crank it right, and I crank it left, and I get it to do wing overs. I've had it upside down, because it gets swinging so much it can override its gyros and actually be upside down for a little bit, and I can do some crazy stuff. Now, two times I've flown this one. This is a Fly Bear. It's the F-16. And I've been up high and I've tried all that. I've tried to crank right hard, crank left, and I really have a hard time getting it to really roll up on its side. It's never been upside down. Um, so just letting you know, this is sportier, this is cooler, but this little bugger flies nice, plus you can fly it crazy and have it just almost doing... It won't quite do a loop, but it'll do some good stalls. It'll good kind of tumble a little bit. So just letting you know that. So this one, uh, basically, I got it all bound to the transmitter. So you got, this is what it's like. And then um, it's got the gyro built in. So I can speed it, speed it up. I'm not touching the remote. You can listen. It'll, uh, when it's getting a little off of, of level it'll um, you know adjust different voltage to the motors to do the torque to straighten it out again and then um, yeah it's just steering differential thrust when you turn one way the one motor will speed up the other slows down and that'll turn it and then uh, simple two channel you crank it all the way on the throttle it'll climb you let off and it'll come down and if you got a little breeze you can actually uh, float these things they'll kind of glide basically and you can have longer battery life and stuff like that so basically uh, you know the SU-35 is a Russian built plane um, we always called them MiGs Top Gun and all through the Cold War MiGs and stuff like that and I looked it up and we still can call it a MiG so that's what I'll call it basically uh, China buy some from Russia and then they like to um, reverse engineer them and then build them themselves and stuff like that. But basically uh, it's a copy of the Russian plane. So if it uh, gets out of line, we'll uh, shoot her down with the F-16. So next up will be a flight video. So maybe you guys can subscribe, help me out a little bit. I'm having fun getting back into flying and uh, experimenting with the planes, letting you know what I think of them. And uh, so help me out, subscribe, and thanks for watching.